Hello, hello everybody, this is Maria Grossbaum from Abissima and here I'm showing you one of my latest artworks and you could clearly see that I've been experiencing quite the uh, gold leaf obsession lately and I received a lot of questions uh, from you about how to create this effect, how to apply gold leaf on dramatic texture. So I'm super excited to put together this fun and very uh, easy video. So let's take a look at the final result. This is what we are going to create. So this technique uh, looks very interesting, uh, you know, by its own. So you can uh, fill up the whole space with this effect. You could create a series of artworks with different um, uh, textures, or you could use this effect only in the section of your mixed media piece, just as I did on the uh, painting with um, lotus flowers. So I'm going to create it on uh, watercolor paper and thicker paper is better. So I'm using 300 grams. If you can find 400 grams is even better. And I'm going to attach it on a board with masking tape. You don't have to use watercolor paper. You could use any like uh, sturdy cardboard or a wooden board or canvas. It's up to you. But I like my watercolor paper, especially if it's textured just like mine. All right, perfecto. So I have my uh, paper fixed on the board and ready to continue. But before creating a texture, I'm showing you my inspirational piece. And the texture is not just a random texture. It has specific movement, specific flow and direction. So for your convenience, you could mark on your paper with pencil this movement that you want to create. So um, make sure that it's very kind of a flowing and organic movement. All right, so something like this. Now, let's talk about materials. I'm going to use a palette knife and I'm going to use modeling paste, okay? The brand doesn't matter. I'm using though my favorite one. Uh, my Actually, I have two favorite ones. One is a golden light molding paste and the second one that I just showed you is a light uh, Liquitex light uh, modeling paste, okay? So under this video, you will see the names of these products, but again, the brand is not important. You could use any modeling paste that you could uh, purchase in any art store, okay? And then apply good amount of this paste onto your uh, surface and then spread out this uh, paste and then play with a uh, movement that I talked about before, okay? So I spread the uh, paste more or less evenly on the surface and now with the same palette knife I'm trying to find this interesting uh, movement, okay? This part is very meditative and play as long as you want, although keep in mind that paste gets dry. You have a lot of time to play, but I would say um, a drying process starts in about 15-20 uh, minutes, of course, depending on uh, what paste you are using, but more or less, uh, more or less they are all uh, similar uh, in terms of uh, drying time, okay? So it's also a good idea to rotate your working area and uh, to look at your artwork from different angle to find new ideas, but enjoy. That's the most important part, okay? When you enjoy, you really achieve interesting results.
Oh, 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 I think, I think actually I'm achieving something interesting. I think I started to like my uh, uh, design. I think that looks quite uh, organic and a flow looks quite interesting. Yes, so this is what I'm going to work with. And before I'm putting this uh, artwork to dry, I will take the access of uh, modeling paste from the masking tape. Mm -hmm. So I suggest you do the same thing. All right, sweet. I really like the texture and I'm happy to work with it. And now I'm putting this work aside overnight. And voila, here I'm showing you this artwork the next morning and uh, when I press uh, on the raised areas I feel that paste is still soft inside but as long as you have a nice uh, crust you could continue working and this is what I'm going to do and here I just showed you a uh, gilding paste that is actually a glue uh, for uh, gold leaf and this is another product it's another a gilding paste that works really well technically I'm trying to say that you could use any gilding paste although I'm going to stick to one that I always work with because I like it but some of my students told me that it could be lumpy sometimes it's not working really well sometimes it, it uh, um, gold leaf is um, hard to glue with it but I never had problems so um, experiment with your uh, products and the next step is really really um, obvious and easy just apply a generous amount of gilding paste onto your uh, texture okay make sure you have a very uh, comfortable uh, brush to work with I'm using flat thick brush it allows me to get into all these intricate uh, uh, thin spots of the um, of the texture because it is important that gilding paste covers a whole area all right so once you finished put your work aside and wait till your paste is dry it takes at least 20 minutes but of course it depending on how uh, dramatic your texture it is it may take uh, more time okay so I waited and uh, now everything is dry now how do I know that I'm ready to continue uh, when I press on the surface um, it's uh, sticky but uh, the paste is dry it's not runny nothing stays on my fingerprints all right so next step here I'm showing you gold leaf it's not a real one it's an imitation okay and the idea is very simple just uh, place it on the surface and then with uh, gentle movements using small brush press lightly and make sure that uh, gold leaf covers all area not just covers it touches uh, every cover it gets into every hole now because the texture is dramatic you might uh, have just as I do uh, some areas of uh, holes right so it's not uh, exactly getting everywhere so it's not a problem remember our uh, surface is sticky so we are going to apply patches like a smaller pieces of gold leaf uh, where uh, they are missing all right so I speeded up the video because I believe that it's quite clear what I'm doing and you could also see that I have quite uh, a few white areas areas that are untouched with gold leaf I'm going to deal with this later but meanwhile I want to glue the gold leaf as much as I can okay and then I will deal with this hole by patching uh, by applying a patches of gold leaf uh, where it's missing so let me show you what I mean by that for example in this area I see that uh, there's some white uh, untouched uh, background so I'm just taking a, a tiny part of gold leaf pressing lightly and then taking the access of gold leaf out with the brush so this is 
quite a tedious work that uh, you know takes time of course but take it as a meditation you know it's actually um, a very very nice activity very relaxing and um, make sure that you are not in a hurry you know just take step after step and then you will see that actually the whole area is covered by gold now the good thing is that you don't need to reapply gilding paste because the whole area is sticky so as i just said take your time see where gold leaf is missing and then attach uh, uh, small patches here and there and take the excess of gold leaf with brush easy peasy just like this a tiny piece press lightly with your finger or the brush and then take away the excess it's cool no I think it looks like a jewel all right so from this moment because you're already familiar with my process I'm going to speed it up I understand that uh, this technique uh, takes time to uh, practice so I think our class is actually really really great uh, for this because yes um, it's much easier to apply gold leaf on flat surface but if you manage to apply it on a dramatic um, texture then you will be an expert of gold leaf application now I'm talking about gold leaf but actually it might be a silver leaf or bronze leaf you know there's all kind of leaves uh, exist in uh, art world and um, also as an idea you could um, try and apply different types of uh, leaf you know for example the background could be mostly gold but then you can patch it with silver leaves or bronze leaves it's all about experimentation and I always always accent that uh, experimenting is the best way to first find your uh, unique touch your uh, unique style and uh, to find new ideas to find them and to develop them into um, you know a whole series of artworks okay so no rights no wrongs it's all about experimentations I'm very curious to see what you will create I uh, anticipate a lot of different uh, backgrounds and different styles and I encourage you to um, join my Facebook group it's called Abissima Open Studio Group uh, it's a community of artists uh, my students where you could um, get a lot of inspiring ideas to find new friends and to of course show your uh, artistic attempts okay and um, there's going to be a link underneath this video so I invite you to Abyssima Open Studio group it's a great place to learn and to get inspired Well, I've been talking and talking, et voila, I'm almost done with gold leaf application. Well, of course, I'm kidding. I speeded up the video, but in reality, it took me about, I'd say, close to one hour to apply gold leaf everywhere. And um, I don't know, I suggest uh, when you have the studious work, um, you could listen to some inspiring audiobook or to play your favorite music maybe to light uh, a candle well it's very important to create a nice uh, creative atmosphere where you feel uh, all relaxed comfortable and safe okay so 
I'm done with gold leaf application and now I'm taking uh, out all the access of gold leaf and um, as you see I'm having this container where I uh, keep uh, pieces of gold leaf because I will reuse them um, in the future so with the brush I'm just making sure that uh, nothing no leftovers stays on the surface oh wow I just noticed so I'm playing back this video again and there is actually a fly taking a free ride in my creative um, process, in my creative journey. Well, I don't blame it because it's quite the journey. Well, so taking off the uh, leftovers of the gold leaf, et voila, my work is completed and I like it a lot. I like the dramatic texture and I like that it's all golden. So now here comes my most uh, favorite part to take off the masking tape but before taking it completely off I want to press lightly with palette knife you see like I'm using this uh, metal ruler and uh, pressing lightly right on the edge of the um, masking tape it will allow me to gently take it off without damaging my design and without damaging um, the uh, paper underneath okay so you need to be very gentle and to have a lot of patience so this is beautiful look at this really cool edge oh, between paper and the uh, textured uh, golden area okay so let's repeat same steps on all other three sides and gently take off the masking tape Well, wonderful. It was a really great experiment. I really enjoyed it and it looks very, very effective, right? So I can easily imagine creating a whole series of this type of work with a different design in the background. Maybe it could be like one piece could be in gold, another piece could be silver and another one could be in bronze right so it all might look really really nice so i really hope that uh, you enjoyed uh, this exercise and you will use it in your uh, mixed media and let's take a look again at the materials that we used so there is a gilding paste a watercolor paper a gold leaf a brush and the uh, modeling paste Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I forgot to mention the masking tape, of course. Et voilà. So, um, these are all the materials that I used in this artwork. Now, let's take a look again at our uh, model piece, the inspiring piece, sorry, inspirational piece. So, as you can see here, I also touched gold leaf with colors. And there are also different techniques uh, like raised golden contours and uh, of course the beautiful colorful petals now if you like this type of work please join me in my newest course that called uh, the secrets of lotus i cover all these aspects uh, of um, 
uh, this particular look I really hope that you like it now let's put together our bow forks and I think they both look great so please join me and I really hope to see you among my students this course is still on sale there is a link below this video um, that will allow you to purchase it with a 50% discount and uh, what else i hope it was enjoyable uh, it was maria grossbaum from abyssima and happy creation